Leave it to Rob, man, to move a whole car jacked up by the diff, man. That was some dope to see. I wish I would've caught it on cam. You know where we at. Pop stop with it. About to get my slave master cylinder. What? Worked on and fixed. We're not playing this uh this stick and clutch bullshit no more. So let's get it. There we go. Still gotta change that horn, but you know what it is. Let's get it. So you guys, we are back at the pop shop. Oh, oh, special guest appearance by Omelette. What's up, Omelette? Hey, hey. Excuse me, buddy. I'm trying to get YouTube famous. So we're uh, changing that apart on the Z. These shoes <laughs> And I realized that my underglow wire is thrashed. Look at this. The left side no longer lights up. Um, I'll show you guys in just a minute. But so that you know what all is going on with this thing, my clutch slave cylinder actually went out. So Rob right now is in the process of dropping the trans. As you guys can see, the drivetrain is already out. That is that long cylindrical piece that goes like right in here, connects to the diff. And this guy, that's already out. Um, Forget what this part of the exhaust is called, but that's already out as well. It's right there. Drive shaft right there. Tranny's getting dropped next. As you can see, it's already been loosened up just a little bit. Um, and I'm about to get the hell out of his way so he can continue to you know, get the work going. But he's also gonna see if we can get these back fixed. Cause I didn't even get to, a chance to hit a show, like a, a car show, car meet with all my lights working. This is actually the side in question that went out. So I'll show you guys in just a sec. So, low problems. I hit something here, it scraped, messed this guy all up. No bueno. Had to jimmy rig this shit so it stays up. Um, but nonetheless, as you can see, that front one's working. We got this guy. Then we got this guy. But no, this guy. Hmm. So, let's see if we can get it back going. But most importantly, I just need to be able to drive my car. So, if we don't get nothing but the clay, uh, the slave cylinder fixed today, I'll be a happy, happy man. Ugh. All right. Let's go see what's going on over here, man. All right, so Rob, I gave the people a general rundown, but what's actually going on with this thing, man? Okay, so uh, so your slave cylinder went out because you have an HR. The uh, internal slave from the factory is not the best design, so you want to uh, take it out and upgrade it. Um, as you can see, yours failed. And the reason how we know it failed is because your clutch pedal have sunk to the floor. And uh, you wasn't be you wasn't maintaining pressure, and it left you stranded. Yeah, pretty much times. multiple times. So if you can come down here and then take a look at this, you will see that it is oily residue and all that's brake fluid coming from the inside of the bell housing mm. dripping down. So that's why it's a little oily down here, and you can see the residue marks. Yeah, down. see that. So what we're going to do is uh, we have already been in the process of taking off the. Uh, the transmission, so what we already have off now is the drive shaft, which is located right there. Uh, 350Zs come with carbon drive shafts. Uh, G35s come with like a two piece. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the carbon drive shafts help complement the uh, the long uh, section right here. And so having an aluminum drive shaft and having a carbon fiber is uh, the best two options you can have over steel. Mm -hmm. You know, um, carbon fiber is a lot higher because it's a lot lighter, heavy durability. But uh, aluminum is perfectly fine, but since yours comes stock with steel, uh, carbon, you're solid. You're solid. solid. Yeah, you're solid. So we took off the stock uh, Y pipe that was here. Uh, it's located over there on the floor. Um, and the drive shaft, and so now, uh, to be able to take off the transmission, what do you do? You uh, make sure you take off all the sensors and all the brackets off of the transmission for a reverse, for the lockout, for uh, um, all of that good old stuff, the O2 sensors. Um, you take off the shifter, uh, the shifter from here. Yeah, this you, you the can leave the, the car. Yeah, you can leave the bracket on. Uh, this is a 12 mil. You just take this off. This goes through there to hold the rod in place. 
the uh, shifter selector. And um, yeah, and then just take off the bolts around the bell housing. And so I'm in the process of taking off the last bolt. I have the transmission jack right here. And then, um, yeah, all it's, the way up in there. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty long. It's pretty long. Oh, here comes the light. So, yeah, you can kind of see it. It's all the way up there. So You guys can um, see where it's moving at, though. Yeah, we have another transmission over there you can use oh, yeah. for reference. So. Let me go. Hurry up. Fast as fuck, boy. Bam. That's where he's hooked up to right there. We are like underneath this part right here, looking up that uh, that long rod. Why are you getting? Was reaching all the way up into these bad bitties right here. All right, let's go. Still fast as fuck, boy. Come get some. Whew. Got my cardio for the month. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so right now I'm just lifting up the tranny jack to be able to help suspend some of the weight. And then uh, once we go ahead and take this baby off, we will show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see the oily residue from the slave cylinder. Makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Man, I thought slavery ended, man. You know, unfortunately, you know, some just can't take it no more. <laughs> and it did. It, yours for sure ended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get it right. Appreciate yeah, you, man. Uh, What you doing, man? What you? What's, why you up there? Well, I'm trying to run away. <laughs> nah. You ain't gonna um, get very far, brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, shoes half off. No, so I had to uh, disconnect the uh, terminal on the battery. Why? Because as I'm pulling it out, because uh, the starter is located right next to the uh, steering column, and so that's a ground. You know, mm -hmm. it's metal. Mm -hmm. So the power cable, if it touches it. Ooh, short my spark. whole system. No, no, it, won't should, it wouldn't shorten it. It'll just, you know, make some contact and make it spark. Oh, okay. So power to ground. We don't need those pro yeah. problems, man. We really don't. <laughs> really, really don't. Yeah, you'll fry something. So. Other than that, uh, yeah, transmission is about to come out right now. Cool. Damn, man, what'd you do? Took off this shit. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, check it out. You see all the residue? All that gunk that be on your girlfriend's teeth in the morning. Ugh, look at that. Man. Not not your girlfriend at well, all. Well, I mean, usually huh? it's white. I never seen black. <laughs> if it's uh if it's black, you got a problem. No, she does. She, my she my does. viewers, they yeah, they need a new girlfriend. Yeah, I don't know. Uh uh but yeah, you can see the residue all around here. You know, it just just done. So yeah, it's it's terrible. So um so this right here, like I was, uh, we was explaining before, this is the clutch master bearing. And so what it is is that this is a thaw bearing and since this is a plug and play for the internal Z application, um, we are going to put this in uh, perfectly fine. Okay. And so these right here, these are shims. So what it is is that some people like to be able to run the 370Z transmission on like RBs, they like to run them on like JZs, uh, different applications with the adapter plates um, or like a 1UZ. Um, you can be able to put this bearing um, on that transmission, but depending on the depth of the clutch, you will be able, you'll be, you will be required to be able to add shims onto the back of it to be able to space out the thaw bearing uh, just a little bit further and a little bit further. Depending so that, on the application. Depending on the application. But since yours is a, 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 just a stock 370, we are 350. not going to use a 350. Um, Using but the internal slave, which is the first generation of 370, um, you will be using this particular bearing, and uh, yeah, you won't have any, uh, you won't need any shims, and it'll work perfectly fine. It's gonna be shimless. Yeah, yeah, and it has the stainless steel braided lines that come along with it. So shout out to Clutch Masters uh, for giving us such an awesome product. Hell so, yeah, yeah. Sponsor us. <laughs> so hell yeah. So this goes in, it sits like that, and it comes with uh, two uh, stainless steel lines. This one is the bleeder. This one is the 90 degree, and then this one is the other one, which connects to the hard line, okay. and it goes in right here. So do you, can you tell, do you know which one is the top and the bottom? Which one go on the top do, and which one go on the bottom? Do I know? Yeah. Nah, man. How, okay. how would I know? Well, I'm asking you. But I am going to tell you. Uh, the top will be the bleeder, 
obviously because the bubbles run to the top. So when you're bleeding it and you have the um, and you have this like this, you always will want the bleeder to be on the top. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that you know the bubbles rise up as you're pushing it, mm -hmm. and then you're able to bleed it. So make sure it's always on the top and not the bottom, because if it's you know the bottom the bubbles will stay, stay trapped and you get the idea. I get the idea. Boop, boop. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this all installed and uh, get it ready to get put back up. Beautiful. Awesome. Twelve seconds later. Dang, man, you did it already? Yes, sir. It's going Jeez. Make sure the line is on top for the bleeder. The bleeder. Boop bop bleed him. No, that was that was me being extra. Sorry about that. No, no, you good, baby. <laughs> Got that bleeder up top. Jacking this thing up. We should have put some stickers on the other side. Yeah, man, what's going on? Pop shop me up, dog. Come on. Let's see what I'm gonna put a pop shop wrap on my car when you finish with this thing, man. <laughs> Let me see that sticker, man. Oh, okay. I support all chassis, baby. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Let me get some, uh, let's see how, let's see how long it's actually going to stick in there. Oh, it's going to stay forever. With all that heat. It's, it's going to stay forever. I got faith. Forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. If y'all didn't harmonize with me right there, y'all y'all not real ones. You're not. Y'all could just go ahead and unsubscribe. Nah, don't unsubscribe. <laughs> you need them followers. Matter of fact, since we're on the topic of subscribing, everybody in your family got a smartphone. Yeah, you support me, but how much? Go grab all them phones. Go subscribe. When they not on their phones, play my videos in the background. It's not gonna hurt nothing, I promise. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. How you wanna do it? This? Uh, me? How you wanna do it? Hey, listen. Oh. I mean, it, it kind of is my car, so that was a very valid question. I didn't mean to be rude or nothing. No, 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 that's not rude, baby. Uh, nah, man, it's dealer's choice right here. Yes, sir. Now, in the event the heat does make this thing come off, if it does start to deteriorate in here, it's not gonna mess up no components. It's paper. <laughs> this, is, this is sticker, bro. What do you think it's gonna fucking heat up and just fry away? Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. So you make sure that the transmissions that they're going to. Mm -hmm. Cause I know by the way. Ma'am, this right here, Tortas Las Glorias. Best burrito I've ever had in my life. This man over here done put me on. I'm driving to San Bernardino every goddamn day for this burrito. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh my God. Fire. Carne asada con avocado. Con una refresca de sandía, perfecto. Simón, güey, serio.
Man, this thing is sick. What What the? Whoa, Rob, man, I turned around for one second. Now all this stuff back in here already? Yeah, everything's back in there. Uh, the new slave is in. Now we just have to bleed it. Uh, we put all the wires and connectors back on. Uh, clutch fluid is in. Now you clutch fluid. So um, for those who don't know which fluid it is, you want to show them over there on the shelf which one it is? Yeah, man, yeah. This, this one right here. Yeah, yeah. Bow. For the 370s, 350s, GL4 from Nissan. Now, there's anything else, people? Nothing else. Nothing else. Nathan. Yep, yeah. yeah. got the uh, drive shaft in. Um, everything's pretty much ready to go. So, all we have to do is bleed it. And then, I'm also I'm down here uh, fixing these wires that uh, came off because, you know, that low life. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect these back. I got some wires and uh, I added some fire sleeve on it. So, since um, I'm gonna tuck it up a little bit higher, routed by the exhaust, so to ensure it doesn't fall, and then uh, yeah, the fire sleeve is gonna keep the wires from being burnt or anything. Cool. You know, so we can put it up a little bit higher. Okay. And uh, yeah, after that, dude, you'll be solid to go, man. Solid to go. Lit. Sorry. I'm excited, man. Thank you so much. Uh, what, what was what was the part that you said you changed that was in the transmission? Uh, the uh, slave cylinder. Don't know that. That's racist. Thank you, Rob. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> We're bleeding the clutch. Down. All the way up. All the way up. Switch down. All the way down. All the way up. That's up. Down. That's all the way down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Pump it. Oh no, I hope down, I don't down. fall. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and back up. On that scissor thing. Oh, yeah. And this man Rob done got me back right. Yo, did it, Goku. Mm. Slave cylinder back in that thing. We glowing on this side again. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we about to f the streets right. up. Hey, y'all let me know where the next meet is at, man. I'm there. Shining. And I'm gonna watch this thing, too. Cause Damn. Gross. See, daddy. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, that's nasty. nasty.